seeing the neighbors for tea tomorrow. Oh, great. Invite all the neighbors like we used to back home. Oh, lovely, lovely, yeah. Great. Gandhi and Coconuts, a play about a married couple who came to England from Goa and struggled with the pressures of living in a new country. It tells the story of the loneliness and the isolation of Asha, a wife who's stuck at home while her husband goes out to work. Asha is played by Sophia Hack, a talented actress who's appeared in British soaps, films, presented MTV Asia and worked alongside a number of Bollywood actors. She's... Um pretty much housebound. It's a scary world out there and circumstances, experiences have made her withdraw further and further away. So she's, she's going through some kind of hell in her head and trying to keep up the pretense of everything's fine to her husband who comes home sort of military fashion at the same time, does the same thing every night, every morning. And she's going crazy, basically. So she's, she, goes to the world of her imagination. That's Asha. What's the supper? Chicken. With coconut? Of course. As Asha escapes into an imaginary world, the Hindu gods, Shiva and Kali, enter her life. And bizarrely, during that journey, she meets Mahatma Gandhi, played by Gary Pillai. Perhaps it concentrates on Gandhi's early life, when he was in England, when he was a younger man. He was very involved in, he loved dancing, he loved, uh, he was very passionate about um, going to classes in, in London. This is when he came over here to study law at University College London Hospital and he was only 19. So he was a 19 year old man um, who was excited by things that 19 year olds are. And I think his character in this piece um, reflects that, reflects that side, slightly um, wilder, naughty side. Gandhi and Coconuts is a comedy with a dark side. It makes its debut at Leicester's Curve Theatre for five days from February 22nd. The play is directed by Janet Steele from Carly Theatre, which champions female writers of South Asian origin. It is a play that makes you both laugh and cry. It, it's incredibly funny. I mean, I, I've never ever directed a play before where the audience are belly laughing. I mean, really, really laughing. And even in the, in the interval when they're sitting there on their own, they're recapping bits and laughing because we've got um, the goddess Kali and Lord Shiva in it. And, and they are just such fantastical characters um, who, who bring a lot of spirit and, and freedom into the life of Asha, but are also having their own marital tiffs as well. So it is very, very funny. It does make you think. I think with all, with all good writing, the more you laugh, the more you cry. Yeah. And I think I think that happens in this piece. And so bring tissues and also bring your diaphragm. <laughs> <laughs> the stars of the show have already been wowing audiences in London, Plymouth and West Bromwich. It's a universal piece. Well, the piece deals with the universal themes, so it doesn't really matter of your, your, your cultural background, I don't think, even though these are iconic South Asian figures. I think it's it's universal for all. And just for us, I mean, we, we rehearsed and performed the first time in London in a very small space. It was almost like being in a living room and the set is Usher's house. So Plymouth was a bit more like this yeah. set up. So it was great for us to flex our muscles. And so I'm looking forward to doing more of that here as well. We can expect to see more of Sophia and Gary on stage and the silver screen in the future. But what about working together again? This will probably just be can't. the last time you no, see we us clear. together. Uh, just, can I talk? No, it's <laughs> all about me. No. Um, see what I have to put up with? No, no it's, oh. it's hopefully not the, not, the, <laughs> not the last time. But uh, I forgot to mention that this, the Gandhi and Coco, it's might be happening again in the autumn. We don't know yet. There's a possibility uh, that uh, we'll it's go It's got legs, that's this. for sure. It must so. be seen again and again. I look forward to it. So, Thank you. Um, but, uh, but I think we'll have to recall. Stop. <laughs>